Tip number one, upload selectively. Google makes it so easy to upload your content into Google Drive. Simply click on New and select File Upload, and you can select the documents and folders you'd like to add to your drive. Even easier, you can simply drag and drop individual files or even entire folders right into the drive. Do this cautiously though, as tempting as it might be to upload an entire folder of hundreds and hundreds of documents, now's the time to organize. Stop and pick and choose the documents you really need and upload those only. To avoid accumulating too many duplicate files, be sure to turn on automatic file conversion by clicking on the cog icon and choosing Settings and checking off the Convert Uploads button. This will cause all Microsoft files that you upload into your drive to automatically convert to Google Docs format, therefore preventing you from accumulating too many duplicates. Tip number two, make use of folders, including all of the built-in organizational tools that Google Drive offers. It's easy to create a new folder in Google Drive. Simply click on New and select Folder. Give your folder a name and select Create. You can also right-click anywhere on the screen to select New Folder. Once you've created your folder, you can right-click on it to access more options. One of the things you might want to do is move that folder into another folder, and you can do that by selecting Move To and then choosing the destination. Now let's talk a little bit about organization. The first skill you should have is to be able to rename a file or a folder. Do so by right-clicking and selecting Rename. Next, you may want to customize the appearance of your folders by changing the color of the icon. Do so by right-clicking, selecting Change Color, and selecting a color. After all, what looks better, this or this? You can even have some fun by renaming a folder and adding an emoji icon to the name. Now we have some great visual cues to help us with our organization. To search for and copy emoji, a great place to start is Emojipedia.org. One final tip to help you quickly and easily locate specific folders or files is that you can add a star to any of them by right-clicking and selecting Add Star. Then you can view all of your starred folders and files in one place by clicking on Starred in the sidebar. Tip 3. Update your view. You have two options as to how to view the content in your drive. You can view it in the list view, as seen here, in which all of your folders and files show up in a vertical list. Or you can toggle over to the grid view using this icon right here. Selecting grid view shows all of your files and folders in a nice and neat grid. I personally prefer the list view, but before I switch it back, I want to point out that you can actually organize the files and folders in the grid view by the last date that they were modified. And you can do this by clicking on this arrow over here. It will sort them from most recent or oldest. Now I'm going to switch back to the list view. Here, I can also organize by the last modified date, by myself or by other users of files or folders. Or I can sort all my files by name, by clicking on name and changing the sort direction. Finally, I can adjust my view by controlling how spaced out the items appear in my list. This is called view density, and I can change it by clicking on the cog and selecting settings. And then, next to density, I have a choice of comfortable, cozy, or compact. Comfortable would be the most widely spaced out, cozy would be a little tighter together, and then compact would be the most tightly packed. I like compact, so I'm going to leave that as my setting. Tip number four, rethink your tools. A 
complaint I often hear is that people's Google Drives are just completely overrun with dozens and dozens of docs, making it next to impossible to keep an organized system. Part of the reason this happens is because people turn to Google Docs every time they need to jot anything down on their laptop or device. Even if it's something as simple as a couple lines of notes at a meeting or a shopping list. So perhaps a way to solve this organizational challenge is to reconsider the tools you're using. Only use Docs for more significant documents where you need all of the power and editing capabilities that Google Docs offers. If you're simply jotting down some notes at a meeting or keeping a list or trying to keep track of reminders, perhaps consider using another tool like Google Keep. Visit keep.google.com to access this powerful note-taking tool, which can be used on any device from anywhere. And all notes are synced across devices. Hopefully by shifting your note-taking from a Google Doc to Google Keep, you can keep your drive more organized. Tip number five, dealing with the shared with me folder. While we have lots of control over the look and organization of our own Google Drives, we have very little control over the organization of all of those dozens of files that have been shared with us. In fact, if you don't believe me, take a look in your Shared With Me folder, and you'll see dozens and dozens of files and folders that have been shared with you over the years, most of which you won't even recognize. So let's look at a few different ways that we can tame the Shared With Me folder. The first thing I'm going to do is switch into grid view so that I can see thumbnails of all of the items. This allows me to get a little bit of a preview of documents so that I might be able to recognize them and decide what to do with them. Now keep in mind, there isn't a lot we can do. I can't really move these around, drag them into folders, or do the types of organizational things I would do in my own drive. But what I can do is take a file that might be of particular importance, like say this Google Slides file right here, and I can click on this button right here. And what it will do is add it into my Google Drive. Now it's not actually creating a copy of the file in my drive. It's basically creating a shortcut to that file that I can access directly from my drive. And now that it's here, I can do things like drag it into a particular folder. A good way to think of the shared with me content within your Google Drive is not as a folder of its own content, but rather as a filter that is just showing you all of the different items that are owned by other people that have been shared with you. Once you shift your mind frame a little bit, it becomes easier to accept the fact that you can't really do much with this content in terms of organizing it. Don't bother removing things, it's just gonna frustrate you. Just let it accumulate the way it's going to, and when there's something that's of particular importance, add it to your drive and organize it as you would with your own content. Music